There used to be only one chip on the block, and that was the semi-sweet chocolate chip. But now there's bittersweet and white chocolate versions and milk chocolate. So Jack's here to tell us which milk chocolate chip we should be using. There is a chip for everyone. I love it. And this is your lucky day, because usually I bring you the raw ingredients straight from the package, yes. which in this case would be pretty good. Right, true. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> but I made it even better. I brought you chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I gotta say, I am not unhappy. Yeah, <laughs> and you get two. So dig in. These are milk chocolate chips. So the difference between milk chocolate and the dark chocolates, which includes both semi-sweet and bittersweet, is that it has more sugar, less chocolate, and of course it has the milk solids, which gives you that creamy, buttery, mm -hmm. luscious texture that we love with milk chocolate. So the big thing we thought here was gonna be, oh, sugar notes, or the amount of cacao. Not really, these all have about half the cacao, which is the chocolate component of a bittersweet chocolate. So our favorite bittersweet chip is a 60% cacao chip. These are around 30. And so they have a milder chocolate flavor. Right. Although you will see some floral notes and some fruity notes that are all coming from the chocolate. The biggest difference here was not about flavor, but it turned out to be about distribution. Something is this perfect, you have to be picky, right? Yeah, the size of the chip, which is why I wanted you to taste them in the cookie. When we did the plain tasting, or we did a pudding tasting where we melted the chips, really the differences were pretty much the same. None. I mean, people like them all. They're chocolate. They're delicious. Right. Some of the brands had smaller chips with better distribution. And in fact, I've got a little visual here. We counted the number of chips mm -hmm. in one cup. And in our favorite brand, you got 394 little chips in one cup. 394. And the one with the biggest chips was only 139. And so what happened was you got pieces of the cookie that had a lot of chocolate and then pieces that had no chocolate. The brands that had smaller chips, you had even distribution, so you got chocolate in every bite. Chocolate even playing field, right? Yeah, now we're being picky here. Mm -hmm. These are small differences. The big chips don't ruin the cookie. Mm -hmm. But we felt like, well, given a choice, we'd rather have chocolate evenly distributed throughout the cookie in, in every single bite. So, you've been eating and drinking. I'm gonna need at least 20 more minutes alone with these cookies. They are all kind of magic. I have to say though, this might be one of the times that I'm gonna disagree with our tasters, because I love the little treasure that you find with this one, you get some of these bigger chips. I wouldn't mind more of them in there. If I could make my perfect cookie, I would probably use some of these and some of the smaller ones so I get big pockets and little pockets. But I'd say in flavor, I'm having a hard time. I'm having a real hard time. I would still say this is probably my favorite. Maybe this is my second favorite. Although I like this darker as well, but I'm not sure that that's milk chocolate. And I like that one too. <laughs> Would you like to see what it is you've chosen or do you want to just keep eating? Let's see what I've chosen. How about this one, starting off with this one here? Yeah, so you chose the runner-up, which is a delicious chocolate, Guitard, mm -hmm. but it is a bigger chip, which our very picky panel thought you didn't get enough chocolate in every bite, but I actually think as a chocolate, it's delicious, floral, fruity, it's mm -hmm. really lovely chocolate. And really creamy too, and kind of decadent as well. All right, this was... In my seconds between these two, I still like them all. What am I talking about? Yeah. Ah, this is what I grew up with. Yeah, this was actually kind of at the bottom of the rankings. If you can put anything at the bottom of the rankings, right. they're all good. But it wasn't spectacular. Mm -hmm. And how about this one? Let's go all the way down here. So this is the winner. This is from Hershey's. Hershey's. Yeah, and we just felt like it had great flavor. It had the smallest size, so you got the most even bits right. throughout your cookie. And the last one. This is really good too. You kind of nailed this when you said it's dark chocolate. I thought I'd fool you. This is our favorite bittersweet chocolate. It's really good. So it's got twice as much chocolate and sure. half as much sugar. Now there's a lot of sugar in the cookie itself, but it's a for a more sophisticated palate. Is that what it is? If you want to go back to your childhood, you want a milk chocolate chip, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so my recipe for chocolate chip cookies, one part that chip, one part that chip, and two parts these chips. What do you think? So we're having four parts chocolate chip cookies. There's no flour in there. <laughs> it's just all chocolate. That sounds like a great recipe. Well, there you go. Why don't you go out and buy the winner? It's the Hershey's Kitchens Milk Chocolate Chips. It's $3.29 for a 12-ounce bag. I'm taking these with me. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. 
You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.